guy here. I recently purchased this prototype Viticon camera on eBay and I know that it was made at Motorola. I knew this immediately when I saw it listed and I knew this by this logo on the side for EVR. EVR was an alleged home video system designed by Peter Goldmark at CBS and the, all of the uh, hardware was manufactured by Motorola. So by seeing that EVR sticker on this camera I knew that this camera had been built at Motorola and apparently it is a prototype camera. I will prove that. As you can see the insides of this camera appear quite homemade. This is classic 1960s hand construction. Terminal strips, components with leads, surface mount had, was nowhere to be seen yet. Well packed and quite uh, quite wonderfully constructed competently constructed. This lens is typical of lenses for video cameras in the 1960s. This is actually known as a cine lens for cinematography. This lens was appropriate for a 16 millimeter film camera, a movie camera, and these were being adopted for use on television cameras. Uh, there were a few lenses appearing at that time that were specifically designed for video cameras. This camera is constructed around a two-thirds inch Viticon tube and according to this sticker it is an M7075. After a, a little bit of examination, I determined that this camera operates on 12 volts simply because somebody wrote 12 next to the power connector. Uh, the power connector on this is just a simple RCA jack. So I took the time to make a small power cable for it and connected it to my monitor and powered it from my favorite big fat battery and to see if it would work. Along with the camera I had a few email exchanges with the seller and made some amazing discoveries about the camera and he then also sent me the mating test pattern for this cap that went with this camera and if you'll note it's a Motorola test pattern verifying the Motorola origin. So at this point I'd like to power it up and see if it works. And lo and behold, as the Vidicon tube warms up, we see our Motorola test pattern. These things can always use some, some adjustments, you know, we can mess with the focus or the iris control. But as you can see, it is working. It has that wonderful Vidicon lag. If you can see the test pattern, see the Motorola logo through my hand as I wave my hand through the through the uh, image. So this is wonderful for something that was built oh 1970 what's 40 41 years ago let's say somewhere in that neighborhood 
This is wonderful. This camera was built by Rolf Spies. He worked at Motorola Quasar TV for 13 to 14 years. He got his first ham license in Germany, ham radio operator, shortwave listener. He immigrated to the USA probably in the 1950s and got a US ham radio license and his call sign was N9BRL. He also taught electronics part-time, built many homebrew projects, assisted his son with his homebrew electronics projects. Sadly, Rolf Spies passed away in February 2011. I'm making this video and showing the camera for its own virtues and as, as a memorial for Mr. Spies whom I never had the opportunity to know personally. This is a wonderful piece of 1960s technology. I'm glad that it still exists and I'm overjoyed to share it with you today.